Ladies and gentlemen, consider ourselves lucky because this is the second trailer we got for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 today. However, this is kind of our forte because this is the cinematic trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Uh, what I'm going to do is this is going to be my initial reaction to it. We're going to go through, play the whole thing, break it down. And then tomorrow I'm going to have a video go live on the main channel, probably around noon Eastern Standard Time, breaking around what the seasonal story is actually going to look like. So we're going to go through this one time, then we're going to break it down. But yeah, two trailers, one day. Aren't we lucky? Do we got audio? Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, this is one thing I will pause it for. Uh, Rogue Team Hideout, outskirts of Avalon, so not in Avalon, but on the outskirts, December 7th, 1991. The first mission of Black Ops 6 takes place on January 23rd, 1991, so almost a full year after the beginning of Black Ops 6. I think I said Black Ops 1 before. It's all about influence and control. We're not going to let that happen. Sev, what's the play? What is all we the background allies. text there? My record, the French syndicate. We French can't syndicate, trust okay. Them, but we can make a deal. We take down the rival Lutazi family and they return oh, the Oh, that's a new character. It's a three-part operation. First, distract. The Lutazi have rare tastes. This explains the entire them. story of multiplayer. This is Second, cool. Sabotage. We oh, this is so cool. Third, we get the fuck out. Oh my god. And when it goes off the rails. Hmm. We improvise. I'll explain why I'm saying oh my god after. Cool finishing move. Okay, so the ending here is just showing off some gameplay. And if the guild gets involved, you worry about the Ludazzi. I'll take care of the guild. Yeah, that's important. Time to get your hands dirty. Oh man. Okay, so there's actually a lot in there. So I'm gonna go through once again and pause at the important parts. But they are doing something that they didn't do with Black Ops Cold War, and it's really, really cool. So Let's start out with the beginning. This is the part that we talked about with the multiplayer trailer because it's in the same thing. But we have Outskirts of Avalon, December 7th, 1991. So the end of 1991, we're almost in 1992. Keep that in mind. The Pantheon's infiltrated. Pantheon, criminal underworld we can see in the background. So Pantheon has uh, infiltrated the criminal underworld of Pantheon, or sorry, of Avalon. What we know from that is that Pantheon is trying to work with these crime families for reasons. We don't know what those reasons are, but we, the rogue faction, are trying to stop them. They're after the global crime networks. After the global crime networks. It's so that could technically, very technically, include Raul Menendez if they're trying to get global cr cr crime networks like they are saying. But right now we're focused on the Lutazis, the French family. It's all about influence and control. We're not gonna let that Black Operation funding. Man. I'm not sure what dirty money, dirty money. Sev, what's the play? We need allies. Need allies. My record, the French syndicate. We can't trust them, but we... So they're actually siding with the French syndicate? Can't make a deal. We take down the rival... Oh, okay. So their plan is to take down... Also, why does that look like Adler? Wait, 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 wait. Let me move my face. Why does that look like Adler over there? It looks like Adler. I don't think it is, but it looks like Adler. Um, so their goal is to actually side with the Lutazi family. Lutazi family and they return the favor. It's a what did that say? Did that say the, the godmother? And they return the godmother. The favor. It's a three-part operation. First, distract. The Lutazi <laughs> have... So this is where it gets cool. So this is one of the multiplayer maps that is coming. And they're saying that we go in and we sabotage the art facility, the museum. I believe it's called Heirloom. So they that's the first step. Taste. We Kick the hornet's nest, rare tastes, destroy the legacy. Use that against them. Second, sabotage. So then we're going in to sabotage something. So I I think this is one of maybe one of their facilities. So burn it down from the inside. So we're burning down their money. We're taking out their money. 
We get the fuck out. And then you escape on the map extraction. So basically, all of the maps for the beginning of season one are what is going on in the story. That is what I was saying was really cool. Right. There's one thing I want to check before we end the video. Hmm. We improvise. So then this is kind of showing what's going on. So this is like them escaping, I guess, at the end, because this is on the helicopter extraction map. This is heirloom. I can't remember the name of that map for the life of me. And if the guild gets involved, the guild. You worry about the Rudazzi. So, so this is the other I'll part. Take care of the guild. Time to get your hands dirty. Okay, so the guild, the reason why she needs to deal with the guild is because she was in the guild before. Now, the one thing that I want to take a deeper look at here is where she says what her plan is. She wants to work with someone. They need allies. We're not going to let that happen. Sev, what's the play? We need allies. My Reco, the friend syndicate. We can't trust them, but we can make a deal. Oh, okay. I was wrong. So they are taking out the Lutazzi family and they are trying to side with the French syndicate. The Lutazzi family is against the French syndicate. There we go. Now we got it. Um, so this, I'm assuming, is going to be another character who we kind of at, go with or maybe get in multiplayer at some point. The godmother. Um, that, that oddly looks like Adler in the background, but... It's a three-part operation. First, distract. The Lutazzi have red tastes. We use that against them. So I think I fully get it. Second, sabotage. We cut their legs right out from under them. So we're Third, taking out their infrastructure. We get the fuck out. Right. And when it goes off the rails... Hmm. We improvise. So this middle part doesn't matter? You but worry about the Lutazzi. I'll worry I'll about the guild. The guild. Time to get your so that, that is the second part of it. Oh, yeah. All right. So that essentially teaches us what is going on in uh, the, what's going on with the story moving forward. And they're doing it in a cool way where they're adding in the elements of the families, the Lutazzi's, uh, the French syndicate, and then the guild but also tying it into Pantheon because Pantheon is trying to get their hands on like this global black market for some reason, which I think eventually is going to tie in with Raul Menendez. But for now, it is showing us exactly what we are doing in season one. What exactly is going on on each of the maps? And I think that is really, really cool because not only does it add uh, character or story story to the characters, it adds story to the maps as well. So honestly, what they are doing here, best thing we have seen since Black Ops Cold War. I hope this goes forward and we learn more about Pantheon. I don't want every season to be about the guild and the, the crime families and things like that. I hope just this season is and then moving forward, we get a little bit more. But yeah, well done, Treyarch. Uh, I can't wait to see more. I hope... I hope you do one at season one reloaded as well, but I highly doubt it, but I hope you do. I hope you do. But for now, this is the beginning of the postseason story.